Blue water has been a big part of my life. I grew up right next to it. I spent most of my days in it when I was a kid. I love this place because it reminds me of Kalamata. It reminds me of where I was born. If you're born like that, and I didn't leave there until I was 18 years old, it, it's in you, it's in your bones. This place is, is spectacular, it's state-of-the-art digital recording studio, which um, was a dream of mine to have. What the studio enabled me to do is fantastic. Um, took a long time to build. Had a lot of people working on this. Took a couple of years to design it and build it. But now, hopefully, I'll be working in here for the next decade or so. Creating for me is one of the most powerful, deliberate acts that a human being can do. Music, I feel, is the most powerful and very direct language known to man. It, it can communicate across borders and language barriers, and, it, and essentially it bypasses logic and speaks directly to your soul. Music can communicate such delicate and, and subtle emotions that are next to impossible to describe with words. If I do my job right, the listener should experience the level that I was at while I was writing the music. I took a year off after the Taj Mahal and the Forbidden City concerts. After I finished um, the last tour, which was about 110 concerts, I was very tired to say the least. So the first thing I did is I packed up and I went to Greece and stayed with my parents until I felt that I was healed. I traveled a lot. I went back to a lot of the countries that I toured at, but this time I had time to stay and drink their wine and breathe their air eat their food, and just be with the people, and filled up with experiences, which I needed. So when I got here and it was time to record, I was bursting with ideas. I came in with an open mind. I had no idea what the album was gonna sound like. I work on one song at a time, and I'm completely consumed by it. First, I know what the emotion is what the song is gonna feel like before I know what the instruments, what the rhythm, what the speed, what the sound, what the melody, anything. I started a year ago. It was the most effortless album that I have ever done. It is a new direction. Um, I think I have learned a lot in the last, in the past 20 years of working. Um, it is very different, obviously, than the Acropolis and the Tribute albums, which were concert albums. I hope that people will enjoy this new album. I certainly enjoyed making it. I've learned a lot the last couple of years. It was actually fairly difficult years, uh, with the exception of recording the album. There was a lot to be learned as far as understanding where I've been, uh, where my career is at, what is the meaning of all this, uh, what have I been doing for the last 15 years, why have I worked so hard, and essentially what is the meaning and trying to understand it and put it into perspective. And I feel uh, maybe now I'm putting it into a very good perspective and thus I'm free and I'm happy and I hope it continues like that because then I'm going to want to write a lot more music.